নমস্কার রাষ্ট্রবিজ্ঞান চর্চা কেন্দ্রের রবিবারের আলোচনায় সবাইকে স্বাগত আজকের বিশেষ আলোচনা সভায় আমাদের সঙ্গে উপস্থিত রয়েছেন ডক্টর বিভূতি ভূষণ বিশ্বাস মহাশয় আজকের আলোচনার বিষয় হল সোশিও কালচারাল ডাইভার্সিটি ইন আন্দামান এন্ড নিকোবর দ্বীপপুঞ্জ আইসল্যান্ড আজকের আমাদের সঙ্গে যিনি উপস্থিত রয়েছেন তিনি আমাদের রাষ্ট্রবিজ্ঞান চর্চা কেন্দ্রের অতি পরিচিত একজন আলোচক যিনি আমাদের সঙ্গে সিধুকানু বিশ্ব সিধুকানু বিশ্ব বিশ্ব বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের আন্তর্জাতিক সেমিনারে আমাদের সঙ্গে যুক্ত ছিলেন ডক্টর বিভূতি ভূষণ বিশ্বাস মহাশয় অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল রিলেশন সেন্ট্রাল ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ ঝাড়খণ্ড মহাশয়কে অনুরোধ করছি আজকের আলোচনা শুরু করার জন্য ধন্যবাদ নমস্কার রাষ্ট্রবিজ্ঞান চর্চা কেন্দ্রের সমস্ত সমস্ত শ্রোতাবিন্দুদের আমার নমস্কার এবং শুভ সন্ধ্যা আমি প্রথমে ধন্যবাদ জানাবো রাষ্ট্রবিজ্ঞান চর্চা কেন্দ্রের অর্গানাইজারদের আমাকে আমন্ত্রণ করার জন্য এবং নিমন্ত্রণ দেওয়ার জন্য আজকের এই একটা মহত্বপূর্ণ বিষয়ে বিষয়ে সোশো কালচারাল ডাইভার্সিটি ইন আন্ডামান নিকোবার আইল্যান্ডস এর উপায়ে চর্চা করার জন্য আমি চর্চাটা দুটো বাই ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজই করব একটু ইংরেজি একটু বাংলা মিলিয়ে আজ আমাদের দেশে সো ইন দ্য প্রেজেন্ট ডে সো আন্ডামান নিকোবার আইল্যান্ডস দ্বীপপুঞ্জ একটা খুব মহত্বপূর্ণ বা ইম্পর্টেন্ট এরিয়া হিসেবে গণ্য করা হচ্ছে বিকজ অফ ইটস জিওগ্রাফিক্যাল লোকেশনস প্রথমত এর একটু হিস্ট্রি আমাদের জেনে নেওয়া উচিত এই আইল্যান্ডসগুলোর এটা বে অফ বেঙ্গলে অবস্থিত এবং এখানে পাঁচশো বারোটি ইউনো আইল্যান্ডস আছে ফাইভ হান্ড্রেড টুয়েলভ আইল্যান্ডস আর দেয়ার এবং থার্টি সিক্স আইল্যান্ডসে জনবসতি আছে এবং এখানে তিনটে ডিস্ট্রিক্ট আছে একটা নর্থ আন্ডামান মিডিল আন্ডামান এবং সাউথ আন্ডামান এবং পপুলেশনস এখানে অ্যারাউন্ড ফোর পয়েন্ট ফাইভ ল্যাক্স বর্তমানে এবং এখানে যে হিস্ট্রি ছিল যে চোলা যে চোলা এম্পায়ার থেকে এই আইল্যান্ডসটাকে আমরা যখন হিস্ট্রি পড়ি ওয়েন উই রিড দ্য হিস্ট্রি অফ দিস আইল্যান্ডস সো ইউ উইল ফাইন্ড দ্যাট দ্য চোলাস uh started using these islands uh, for uh, for their uh for their for their own purposes and the later one you know the uh, danish also came and then finally they sold the island to british and then it came under the british rule so during the british period shobai amra jani ki ei islands ta ke ekta open jail ebong khola jail hisabe byabohar byabohar kora hoto ebong ekhane pore giye একটা জেল তৈরি করা হয় তার নাম হচ্ছে সেলুলার জেল সেটা আজকে আজকে ইন দ্য কন্টেম্পোরারি ওয়ার্ল্ড ইট ইজ অল অফ দ্য টকেটিভ বি সাবজেক্ট ইন ইন্ডিয়ান পলিটিক্স নাও কালাপানি বলা হতো এই ব্রিটিশ সবাইকে ওখানে নিয়ে যেত যারা দোজ ফ্রিডম ফাইটার দোজ হু আর সো মাচ ফ্রিয়সিয়াস সো দে দি ব্রিটিশ ইউ টু সেন্ড দেম টু টু আন্ডামান জেল so and this jail is having certain features so this jail actually for each and every uh, prisoners uh, they constructed uh, the single jail single cell that's why it is called a cellular jail all the all the prisoners they got a special allotted cell and this uh, island is actually used by british as an open jail uh, for those who were involved in uh, indian freedom movement so in the present day so this islands is becoming a more importance in terms of its strategic uh, locations and amra jani je age ekhon aaj in the present day uh, power has been shifted uh, to the to the oceans and indian in one indian oceans is india is having having a very sizable powers in terms of maintaining its naval powers and all অ্যান্ড ইন এবং আর একটা জিনিস বিষয় যে আন্দামান নিকোবারে যে আমাদের দেশের যে তিনটে যে নৌবাহিনী 
স্থলবাহিনী এবং এয়ারফোর্স তিনটে সিকিউরিটি ফোর্সেরই বেস ওখানে আন্দামানে আছে এবং আন্দামানের একটা সোশিও কালচারাল ডাইভার্সিটি যেটা আছে যেটা সোশিও কালচারাল ডাইভার্সিটিটা ইজ ইট ইজ ভেরি ভেরি ডিফারেন্ট ফ্রম মেনল্যান্ড ইন্ডিয়া দোজ হু আর লিভিং ওভার দেয়ার ইন আন্দামান নিকোবার দে কনসিডার দেম সেলভ অ্যাকচুয়ালি দ্য আইল্যান্ডার্স অ্যান্ড দে কনসিডার দিস মেনল্যান্ড ইন্ডিয়া অ্যাজ এ মেনল ইটস কলড ইজ দ্য মেনল্যান্ড ইন্ডিয়া অ্যান্ড দে দেম সেলভ কনসিডার দ্যাট দে আর দ্য আইল্যান্ডার্স অ্যান্ড দিস আইল্যান্ডস অ্যাকচুয়ালি আফটার নাইনটিন ফর্টি সেভেন আর বিফোর নাইনটিন ফর্টি সেভেন তখন ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট হয়েছিল ডিউরিং দ্য ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট পিরিয়ড সো নেতাজি সুভাষচন্দ্র বোস হি হোস্টেড দ্য ফার্স্ট ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট ফ্ল্যাগ দেয়ার ইন জিমখানা গ্রাউন্ড উইচ ইজ লোকেটেড ইন পোর্টল্যার অ্যান্ড পোর্টল্যার ইজ দ্য ক্যাপিটাল অফ দিস দিস আইল্যান্ডস দ্য আন্ডামান নিকোবার আইল্যান্ড উইচ ইজ এ কেন্দ্রশাসিত অঞ্চল এবং এখানে ব্রিটিশ স্টার্টেড এ কাইন্ড অফ পেনাল সেটেলমেন্ট that in andaman nicobar basically they were using they are given the uh, penal settlement in the uh, port blair area and then later on after the independence uh, the government of india you know they uh, settled many people from different parts of of india and from bangladesh from uh, from myanmar from sri lanka and from all the states of india so that's why you okay, i'm going to discuss about the socio cultural diversity in andaman nicobar islands so and many scholars and most of the scholars they term this this islands as a as a mini india karon ekhane eta ke mini india ei jonno i bola hoy karon je jar jar diversity whatever diversity you can see in india so you will find all those diversities either it is language linguistic diversity cultural diversities uh, Uh, religious diversities and food habits and all you will find all together they are in uh, they are in andaman nicobar islands and majorly there are six primitive tribals are there in in these islands some mongolian mongolites are there and then some uh, uh, negrotized uh, tribes are there and only in the nicobaris are now they are intact or they are the Uh, in the mainstream uh, economy we can say and rest all other tribals are still they are they are living in their own uh, primitive stage and they still they are living in the forest and the government of india has given you know again for uh, for maintaining their lifestyles and all they uh, they have certain kind of restrictions to visit many places where these tribals are are there but there are certain islands you know Uh, in which these people are living and uh, so, sometime kokono kokono yeah the local people and these tribals the, they are you know intercrossing with each other and there are previously there were certain problems but now the most of the tribals except one tribal uh, tribal groups all others are having uh, very close proximity with the local people but 1947 uh, what happened penal settlements and then the government of india to cover this island so it started uh, certain kind of extending its uh, settlement there in andaman because in islands 572 islands is spread over 8000 square kilometer uh, in the indian oceans it was it is actually a very big assert for uh, for india in terms of its strategy uh, strategy strategy in indian oceans তখন কি হলো যখন নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি ওয়ান বেসিক্যালি ইস্ট পাকিস্তান ইন্দিরা গান্ধী ইন্দিরা গান্ধী ওয়াজ দ্য প্রাইম মিনিস্টার অফ ইন্ডিয়া অ্যান্ড দেন ইন্ডিয়ান গভর্নমেন্ট টু দ্য ডিসিশন দ্যাট দে উইল সেন্ড দিস পিপল দোজ হু মাইগ্রেটেড ফ্রম Uh, east east pakistan and then finally they uh, decided to settle them there in andaman nicobar islands and at the same time certain people from uh, sri lanka sri lankan tamil refugees then from myanmar and then uh, newly created uh, country called bangladesh and from many other parts of india like from Karna, kashmir to kanyakumari and then from gujarat to uh, including nepal also so many people and they actually migrated to and the government of india they settled them there in 
there in Andaman Nicobar Islands. So when, well, and then people from Kerala, people from Tamil Nadu, from Andhra, Bihar, Odisha, Bengal, and the, all other states, people, they shifted over these islands. And then government also settled them. And apart from that, from Jharkhand also, uh, the government of India, they recruited people for, uh, for, for labor works or other, other governments, uh, government like PWD, Forest Department, Agriculture Department, and all, all other departments, they recruited people from, from Jharkhand because the Andaman Nicobar's condition was, it was a, it's a highly, you know, uh, the malaria, uh, malaria was one of the very big challenge over there in, uh, in the, this island. So this Jharkhand people, Jharkhand tribals, they are also living in the same kind of uh, in, in forest and same kind of climatic region. So people, uh, the government of India, they actually recruited them for different uh, government uh, departments. And then you see that now people from Sri Lanka, Tamil Nadu, even Kashmir to Kanyakumari, Gujarat to uh, to northeast regions, from uh, uh, Bangladesh, the yeah, people they settled over there in uh, in Andaman. It's become a, a kind of part of different cultures, different religions, different traditions. So there was no any kind of dominance, traditions, religions, or caste or anything over there in Andaman Nicobar Island because of its nature of settlement. That country or that islands were uh, totally, you know, that was uh, nobody was there. All of a sudden, the government they actually settled different people. Either it is Biharis or we are from Uttar Pradesh, from uh, from Kashmir, from Northeast region, from Nepal, and all. So it's become and the settlement pattern. If you look at the settlement pattern in these islands, in a same village, you will find the settlements of uh, of this uh, Bengali people, settlements of Tamil people, settlements of uh, Sri Lankan Tamilians, settlement of Bihari, settlements of Punjabis. Settlements of many other uh, uh, people from different uh, parts of India. So, it is what happened because of this settlement pattern. So, all the cultures, all the religions, all the uh, tradition that infuse with each other. It act a vicious, vicious boshishto annaman nikobare. Ki kono culture, religions, traditions, it a kichui dominate korte pariri. As compared to the mainland India, wherever these uh, migrants, the refugees, their settlement is done, the other case settlement is done, they already have a settlement in the other mode. So that, uh, that that culture is actually over, you know, taken over the other cultures. And if you visit uh, Dandakaran, if you visit Bastar, if you visit uh, Malkangiri and all, so all these places, what you will find, you will find these people are following the traditions, cultures, and the new generations, they do not know about much about their own culture, tradition, language, and all. So they, these people, they are following the traditions, cultures, and all of that particular uh, place. So like in uh, Odisha, Malkangiri, people, they, they speak uh, Odia, and uh, they celebrate actually Odisha's uh, cultural festivals and all these things. But in the case of uh, Andaman Nicobar, so because of uh, infusion of different type of uh, people, and apart from all this government of India, very, very tactically, reservations was not uh, you know, adapted over there. And still, in Andaman Nicobar, only two, three different type of reservations are there. One is those who are Pre-1942, that means those who were jailed in uh, uh, during uh, British period, that means those who were the freedom fighters, they settled over there. And the second is post-1942, that means uh, those who in the government of India uh, settled them, that means they called them settler. And the third is, is uh, tribal people. So the reservation policy is that, but, uh, but what happened is only the tribal people, they have the 
a reservation in in in, in jobs and other other sectors but no other other people uh, is having any reservation in job sectors but in later one it's 2007 8 the government of india came out with a with a different policy that policy is that based on economic prosperity or economic backwardness so government of india issued a certificate called aadhar backward caste based on economy either uh, anybody belongs to any caste or in, in a different people different people uh, migrated from uh, india that maybe they are uh, scheduled caste in india indian mainland and or maybe higher caste or maybe any other caste or any other religions but in andaman nicobar based on the economic backwardness those who are settler settler means the government of india settled them in andaman nicobar island the government of india issued a certificate called aadhar backward caste based on the economic backwardness that is if any any families uh, income is below 8 lakhs they will receive a certificate called aadhar backward caste it is not based on the caste but it is based on the economic disparity so they are and those who are actually settled by the government of india these people are eligible and there are certain and certain other provisions are are, are there so because of this uh, settlement a settlement pattern the different cultures the social activities religions that infuse with each other and that the young generations they were actually uh, grown up with all sort of uh, you know this religions culture and which actually infused with each other so that's why there was no any kind of hardcore uh, hardcore by radicalized kind of uh, understanding of the people uh, they particularly for on on caste or in religion basis for example if i take an example and basically i am from that that part of the country so in my in my islands or in my village itself we have settlement of uh, uh, hindu bengalis uh, then hindu uh, then we have uh, tamil settlements those who are from uh, tamil uh, sri lankan refugees and then muslim populations also sizable muslim populations also there and then christian people are there and punjabis are also there and apart from all these different linguistic people from from india also there in my own village so you see that one when a person is born when a child is born and then in the schooling system we have a three linguistic three language uh, school system one is you have to opt your own mother tongue either it is hindi or bengali or tamil or telugu so the uh, big so four languages that you can opt any language and then you have to opt english and hindi so you see the, uh, the 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 children in the school the school education system also because it demands uh, that different languages are there so government of india also you know framed this schooling system in also in a same fashion when i was studying in the school uh, i opted uh, english hindi and up to class 8 i opted for bengali but after that okay again you have option after class 8 that you can opt some other uh, languages so there are very you know unique features of this uh, uh, education system also there in andaman nicobar islands and most of the now very recently only certain private schools are are there but initially uh, the enter islands uh, uh, there was no private school but very recently last uh, 10 years the, down the line you can find some of the private schools that came up I don't know. You know, all other schools are it is Kendra Vidyalaya and run by by the government of India. So, so here social structure. If you look at that, one person is is full of you know having the knowledge of the other culture, religions, and traditions. And in Annaman, the celebration of any religious festival or any cultural festivals, it's actually become uh, a kind of uh, kind of. Uh, re- cultural festival rather than the religious festival because in a in a for example the seems the majority of of the peoples are bengali those who actually migrated from uh, from east uh, east pakistan and later on it become the bangladesh 
so uh, the community of namasudra community they basically uh, they settled over there and then not only namasudra uh, sudras then this motua and motua dharm dharm is like in how there is in in odakandi and now it is in thakurnagar so this 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 culture is actually dominating uh, culture in andaman nicobar in basically in andaman uh, region of the islands and nicobar on the other side the settlement pattern is different so in the andaman regions in north uh, north andaman and south andaman so this two uh, two district actually this motua is uh, is one of the dominant uh, uh, kind of uh, cultural uh, culturally dominated but in the nicobar districts in that side seems uh, the nicobaris are there and around 30000 nicobaris this tribals are there in nicobar and then down the line certain tamil uh, sri lankan refugees uh, settlement uh, are there and then punjabi settlements and the, the is there in in in, in south uh, in the south andaman uh, district so their pattern is very much different mostly all the religious festival all the cultural festivals celebrated very very uniquely and together there is no any kind of like clash between the between the people as far as my so uh, as my knowledge is concerned so far i have not seen any single communal uh, violence in my islands and in andaman nicobar if you see that uh the communal violence uh, rate of communal violence is very very very, very it may be 0.01% but uh, because of this social structures so that the new generations are coming from that uh, that islands are very much aware about the outside of uh, of the world that like for mainland what is happening around the world but because of uh, uh it seems there is no any reservation caste based reservation is not there in andaman islands so, uh, so so that that is a very unique a unique kind of uh, policy so which actually <clears throat> they're uh, removing the blockage uh, from the mind of the uh, mind of the people there in andaman and those who are actually maybe following certain kind of caste tradition the that and other thing in mainland india when they are Uh, shifting to andaman and settling over there is their way of life is becoming very very different so that uh, there are many research and very recently also i did a very uh, along with my on one of my peers this scholar he did a survey on on this motua culture and this motua cultures are actually influenced with uh, by, influenced by by it is influenced not only to the hindus to other Tamils, Telugus, and many others because of its unique nature in uh, and celebration is very very unique, which actually do, uh, does not promote any kind of kind of differences. And since people they feel the very much uh, uh, you know equal over there, so there is no as such restriction, uh, any social restriction is not there on the people based on religion, caste, and creed. And tribal people from Jharkhand. also you know a large number of uh, jharkhand tribals also settled in andaman so they they also do not have any kind of social disparity in the in the island I, either it is in education or any job sector and, and <clears throat> the cultural aspects of this uh, this island is that all the religious festivals are celebrated uh, you know all together and all the people uh, either any any religions they belong they actually do not hesitate to participate in any cultural or religious religious festival for example now durga puja is coming so with the durga puja will be celebrated all over the andaman nicobar islands and then later in and, and the eid festival also it will be celebrated in a huge huge manner by all sect of the people and then uh, always obviously christmas also celebrated in a same fashion and all you will find the different type of cultural feast like onam ugadi pongal then the uh, diwali and then the, your chhat puja so all these whatever celebrated in india different 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 states so which actually all together it celebrate it, it you will find there in this island so that is the uniqueness of this uh, this islands because of its uh, the settlement structure of people are living in a very small area with 
different so much of differences uh, among the people but uh, but they are very much united in terms of its cultural or religious aspect so there is no as such problem and then the crime the crime rate is very very uh, very very minimum over there in Myanmar because of it again it's the geographical uh, nature of its uh, of this island so you cannot uh, the after committing any crime nobody can flee from there because the two ways only you can uh, it is 1200 km far away from mainland so there is no any other way out so that but uh, not only that since people are well off so the crime rate is very 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 minimal uh, as another example i will give uh, so far i never saw in my in my home uh, nobody you know put a lock in the in, on the main door so like that in the village side still you know that type of uh, situation is still there that nobody actually still nobody bothered about uh, about what is uh, what is there here and there and nobody actually there is no as such uh, this type of crime so so far i have ne- never saw that my home is locked uh, if even anybody is not there at home so that such type of uh, society is still it is you can see there in annaman and then again the education system in annaman nikobar uh, and annaman nikobar islands is is a very very unique uh, unique system that every the government of india and the administration annaman nikobar administration has you know uh, it is very nicely it's framed its syllabus and its uh, trilingual uh, teachings and all that. so keeping in view of our different uh, diversities among the among the people but we do not hesitate to opt any other like tamil telugu or all it, it is not that uh, only one person uh, only bengali if i am a bengali i have to opt the uh, bengali uh, bengali as a language of learning i can opt any other language also for example in in the, in the college so we have when we came to college so by you we have option, options of the opting a uh, opting is the allied paper or we can say that it is third language we have to opt there in, in the in the in the college also so uh, so many student they opted uh, bengali some student they opt hindi some uh, telugu some tamil so it depends on the person's individual choice what language you are going to choose so that is the kind but and apart from all these these countries and this uh, not country this islands are again uh, politically also very unique you know uh, as such there is no uh, assembly or there only we have uh, in this island only one uh, member of parliament that, uh, member of parliament but there is no any any, any rajya sabha member from here so only one uh, mem- member of parliament Uh, elect from this uh, this island but the panchayat system is very very strong in this island so each and every uh, every new pan corner you will find the political the panchayat raj system and which is actually functioning very very nicely so because of is again since there is no assembly so there is no uh, political tussles but political parties are different political parties are there either it is nat- all the national parties and regional parties are are, are there but most of the time two national parties plays uh, actually either congress or bjp they actually get <coughs> elected uh, for this uh, uh, member of parliament but in again in <coughs> different island you will find different uh, political parties like uh, certain regional par- parties also may be formed uh, maybe there in the uh, panchayat uh, or in jilla parishad or in uh, in other uh, in, the, in the municipal corporations Uh, you will find the different political parties are are there they are winning so this seems there is no assembly and seems this uh, panchayat raj system is very strong over there that is political awareness among the people or basically among the among the ladies uh, among the female uh, is very very high so all the islands are are divided uh, in a such a way that uh, that government can reach to each and every corner of the people so uh, so that is that is another unique unique thing but this uh, island has certain kind of problem so uh, that uh, when we talk about the economic uh, economic side of this island 
is basically this islands people are highly dependent on agriculture and forest so agriculture sector basically so but, but some islands are having uh, having certain uh, plantations like you know down the south nicobar and all that basically uh, coconut and arconut and uh, some rubber plantations and the uh, and other part of uh, of this islands is basically uh, depends on you know, the agriculture sector but highly dependent on the, the mainland uh, supply chain so like any visit any vegetables so many vegetables uh, that uh, they are not growing it is not growing there in that island so that it is importing from uh, mainland india so supply chain is basically from mainland india and the tourism sector is is uh, really you know booming in this uh, in this uh, island so which is again another Uh, 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 boosting its economy and the young young generations they are they are getting they are earning they are <clears throat> earning from this uh, tourism sector which is actually uh, now a very very uh, you know booming sector in uh, in Andaman Nicobar Islands though there are certain inner line permits are required to visit certain island but it is not applicable to all the islands that's why the tourism is is very much flourishing over there so tourism ta khub ebong uh, uh, season is now season is going on ei shomoy tai andaman nicobar e khub ekta tourism er khub ekta scope ache ebong that's why the government of india is increasing uh, its infrastructure roads and many other um, communication system uh, system it is increasing because of uh, to strengthen its economy without economy that people will be uh, will, will live uh, we have to live in miserable condition that's why the government of india is promoting its tourism and tourism because of this uh, tourism promotion in tourism uh, the unemployment uh, issues is is very much uh, reducing over there and since uh, it is three three four aspects only that is only uh, the earning uh, or livelihood people are actually uh, having over there one is agriculture sector another tourism sector another is fish fisheries so so apart from all these certain islands they they, they are having uh, plantation of coconut uh, and the arconut which is again <clears throat> is is uh, some islands uh, people they are they are earning those but which is actually it, it is not not sufficient for the uh, for the people over there so that's why what is happening in the present uh, in the present conditions so government has uh, is giving so much of focus so that uh, the, the young generations they can you know become the new you know uh, entrepreneurs so they can they can become self sufficient that's why the tourism sector is highly having so uh, potential in terms of providing a huge uh, job to the to the youth and you will find that uh, the people from all over the all over the india and not only india all over the world they are now uh, visiting this island and people are finding finding this islands people is very very unique because of its behavioral pattern and uh, is its social structures behavioral pattern uh, i would like to discuss on a two minutes uh, regarding the behavioral pattern of the of the people so when a person a tourist is going to andaman so uh, nobody will uh, we, we will address the uh, the tourist as either tourist or any other thing they will address them as a guest so when they are addressing the connect of the of the local and most of the local people are actually running this uh, this tourism sector so when people are uh, going from this mainland india they are actually treating them as like their their own guest because it is a bread and butter of the people that's why people are became so much you know getting influenced of the behavior of the people that's why and this behavioral structure and be this behavior uh, is 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 all about associated with their bring uh, bring and brought up by the by the family because the family also in the village they they when they're growing they were infused with different culture traditions language and all these things and learned the different uh a different cultural aspects of the people uh, whatever they are in india and that's why if any people any person is visiting from india they find that oh these people are our own people so when you know, one more example i would like to give here 
that we are, when I first uh, came to Pondicherry University, I studied there in Pondicherry University. So my my friend uh, there uh, in Pondicherry University, they were so curious about us that uh, because there were so much of misconceptions about the people of Andaman that they are the cannibal or uh, the man eater, or the tribals and all this. Okay, so there were very less informations about this Andaman Nicobar yeah. Islands and people were not aware much so when we came to pondicherry university so people used to look at from the uh, from the window and they used to stare that what these people are doing and what is their activity so that also we used to notice and then finally we discover that that because uh, they they do not have proper information about these people there those who are uh, in, in andaman and then <clears throat> they came to know about us and then they become very good friends uh, and then finally, uh, so many people, so many of our uh, friends also visited um, um, Andaman Nicobar. So like, like you see, after tsunami, 2004 basically, so the world came to know uh, about, about these islands. And then uh, uh, the tourism, the boom in tourism sector, you know, uh, we, after, we can see after 2004, the tsunami, the tsunami. So after a year, so... Uh, Slowly, the tourism sector has been boomed, and today, uh, one of the uh, you know favorite destinations for for the tourists from all over the India and from the world is Andaman is uh, is, is is become so, which is actually strengthening its economy. And then, since it's political, politically people are not so much uh, you know in in national politics, it is not influencing much. Let's say people are are very very much happy with that. Uh, panchayat system over there and uh, since education and another thing this education is uh, is very much unique uh, because of that, uh, most of the schools run by the by the government and uh, more or less it is free and the female and you know the in the in the, uh, in the crime rate against a female also again you will find is very 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 minimum only last uh, 10 to 12 years certain uh, crime against of women it's little increased because of again a lot of migrations are taking place from mainland india to andaman nicobar islands which is actually uh, those who are migrating to uh, to andaman for only for earning so these people are not actually accepting the uh, the cultural and social uh, socio cultural uh, uh, the temper of uh, andaman nicobar islands so they are not adapting it so they are in the in the same mood, whatever they are in the mainland. So when they are migrating, they are only for their earning or uh, only for, for earning. That time, what is happening? These people are committing certain crime, but the local people's crime and those who are at, actually living at least ten years, uh, they're in uh, they're in these islands. Uh, so uh, you will find a very huge uh, differences among those who are the newly migrated people from mainland India to. Uh, to Andaman Nicobar Islands, so their social behavior also is very, very different because the, the very unique features, unique characteristic you will find there in Andaman. So uh, people and young generations are having very close proximity with each other. So they do, do not demarcate, uh, they do not have any kind of uh, any kind of caste system over there. That's why the people are very open. They do not hesitate to be mingle with any any caste, any culture, any sex or not. But when a migrated people, when a person is going from this uh, place to Andaman, so they have a kind of baggage of, uh, of, of their culture, tradition, and religion. And they find uh, very, very, you know, different to, uh, to adjust with that. That's why the certain crime rates is increasing. And then against of women also, you know, because of these uh, migrations. But if you look at after before 10 years, you know, this 10 years longer down the line, and then after that, you will find that a okay, very minimum fact. So, uh, but the social structure, since the diversity is very huge, but because of its uh, settlement pattern, uh, it, its uh, cultural infusion is very much high. So, people are are very much uh, very much aware about what and how to you know uh, move with all the religions, traditions, and all. But certain period of time, what was happening? Uh, certain people. Uh, like you know the business community basically from uh, from uh, south india that 
whole supply chains basically maintained uh, by uh, by by some people from Rajasthan, Manavaris, and then South Indian people. So they are basically settled there in food lab, uh, food lab region. That is the capital of this uh, this island. So uh, because of that, what is happening? They are bringing certain people from uh, their own own places, and because of that, the local people they are not getting much opportunity to work over there in the food lab regions. That also now that's why there is a demand of inner line permit there in this island to maintain uh, or to provide the opportunity for the local people because. You see that when government has yeah, settled this uh, uh, these people you know, from different uh, parts of the uh, parts of India uh, with a limited uh, resources, this islands is having 80 percent is full of you know 80 to uh, 85 percent is full reserve forest. On, only uh, 10 to 15 15 percent only land used by uh, by the local people. And those certain lands were there, and that lands been occupied by the outsider. Outsider in the sense, those who migrated, and they encroached certain land, and now the land is scarcity for, uh, for for the Andaman peoples and those who actually settled over there. For them, it's becoming very very uh, problematic. So people are now uh, asking, demanding the administrations that there might might be certain kind of inner line permit so that when they migrate. A person is coming from outside for uh, for earning, uh, so there must be certain restrictions so that they should not destroy uh, the forest and other things. Because the locals they do not do that. When a person coming from outside for earning, they do not have any affiliations with that uh, that islands, or they do not uh, connect themselves with the islands, and they start uh, you know uh, uh, disturbing all this ecosystem. That's why, the world. but. Again, the certain challenges in this uh, this uh, island is in the present present day. It is increasing because of again the certain political interventions are taking place from from this mainland uh, India. So because of that, uh, that now uh, Andaman administrations also taking certain uh, uh, certain policies so that they can ensure uh, the very peaceful uh, peaceful. Existence of the uh, of the people. Over there. So the cultural diversity in in this island is is very huge. But because of its settlement pattern, because of its social uh, social cultural infusion with each other, and and then young generations they 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 grew up with this all sort of religions, culture, traditions. So they do not hesitate to mingle with each, each other, and and you will find. The different type of people, food habits, cultures, everything is available uh, in this in, in this island. Because of that, so uh, uh, and, and and since uh, there is no uh, any kind of you know barrier on this based on caste or religion, that the people are very much uh, very much uh, you know open-minded and they do not hesitate to mingle with anybody and. Because of that, there is no any any differences among the people. That's why again, uh, this this islands is is called is mini India and a unity in diversity. If you want to see the unity and diversity there in this island, then you will find a very unique uh, unity among the among the people. And apart from all this, every individual in Andaman Nicobar Islands, they they actually emotionally connect with with the uh, with the the freedom movement of India, as you know that uh, in, in food layer, basically not only food layer, food layer, many other islands in uh, in Andaman Nicobar Islands, you will find that different type of uh, different monuments and other kind of structures that actually constructed by either by Japanese or by British, and this uh, uh, and this uh, cellular jail is one of the you know biggest uh, you know uh, we can see that um, uh, now it is a national memory. Uh, Memorial. So whenever we are seeing this uh, this uh, jail, we can we can connect that how much our uh, uh, previous generation they sacrificed their life for for achieving uh, this uh, freedom from British and and there is there are a lot of programs that organized by the by the by the Andaman administrations to again to connect 
so we should not be isolated from understanding again the indian the mainland indian culture that's why in the month of january the uh, uh, andaman administration they organized a cultural fest of 15 days it started from january uh, first week and it is actually for 15 days so we invite different cultural uh, cultural or the different group from all over the india and the festival actually run for you know 15 days different type of uh, tribal folk uh, folk cultures that they project over there and everybody you know most of the uh, most of the people who are andaman in kuba they actually enjoy that and then they get to know uh, about the about the indian main in mainland indian culture traditions and all uh, all this thing apart from all this uh, Uh, all these are the certain other programs also you know cultural program organized uh, by by the administrations uh, which actually again educate the people of andaman nicobar islands so that gives actually again a different uh, kind of uh, you know opportunity to learn about the mainland indians uh, in their culture and traditions so uh, motua culture is highly dominated because of you know 60% being all these are there so but there is no as such Uh, any social uh, problem over there so i hope uh, uh, those who are listening me so you have have actually enjoyed the talk and uh, if there is any kind of questions or anything then i will love to uh, reply so over to you uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity Anybody there? Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, आज के आलोचना की खूबी भले हुए चे। सर हमारे किसी प्रश्नों के से चे। हाँ। हाँ। प्रथम प्रश्नों को चे अंदावन और निकोबर दिपुन जो मानो हमारे देशेर कोशल का तो भावे गुरुत्वपूर्ण। हाँ, ठीक है। So, so actually, basically, basically, he is asking the why these uh, these uh, islands are strategically very important for uh, basically India. So, as you know, that uh, that's more than sixty percent, sixty percent energy transportation takes place near to this region, and we have a Malacca region, Malacca Strait. Let us call it how. Like a small strip, that is, when the most of Tel Aviv, that is, most of trade gulo Annamani Kovar Island they pass here. Why? Even today, China is actually creating a lot of problem for India. But one thing, China is whatever energy transportation or trade through through ocean is is basically is uh, Annamani Kovar has passed here. Why? Because even Annamani Kovar, even since the wing, that uh, uh, follow. Either it is army, maybe air force. Wing, the wing, so can you see? Because our Andamani Kovar Islands are a very big, very important part of the Chinese. Their jobs are to sell or other trade routes. That Andamani Kovar is going to be there. So the only thing that can be done is the Malacca Strait. That is a short strip. That can be a small jahaz. Will be there. So the Andamani, that our last point, that is the Indra Point, that can be seen very clearly. If any, 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 in case China create any problems, then India will uh, will be in a position to block the you know, entire region, so that the transportation, the supply chains will be disturbed. And, and that's why you know all the time you see now forward will act up organization. Banana uh, hoye se dekhane India, India, US, Australia, even Japan. That the desh mere act forward, that act forward lateral military actually. Uh, Agreement, security agreement. She got that I can. Given the recommended exercise, for a high military exercise, for a high you can. So basically, it is these islands are very very uh, important because of its proximity with the with the Strait of Malacca and these regions. All the transportations are taking place. The energy transportations are taking place because of that. The geographical location itself it is having India's you know very very. You know, upper hand because of that is very very important, and uh, India can keep very keep very very you know uh, vigilance over all these regions. You know, up to 
uh, Sri Lanka and then what is happening. So, and in in Andaman Nicobar is is again uh, we can say that it is a it is a aircraft carrier. The one aircraft carrier that is where the Shuri or no one else can go. That is where the flight is up for a day. It is a natural aircraft carrier of India. So, you know, it is a good group to put on. Next, any other question? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Next question is why are most of the Andaman and Nicobar Island union habited? Unhabited, uninhabited. Uh, because you see that uh, is uh, all the islands are not so big, first of all. And uh, for uh, connecting all the islands with uh, basically there is no connections of roads, only from Portla to north, north, north. Up to Diglipur, we have the road connections, and all other other islands, like from Little Andaman to Campbell Bay, that is up to Indra Point, have to travel by the ships. And apart from all this, all the islands are, you know, uh, basically it is not uh, so big size. And apart from all this, okay, see that uh, uh, the forest and these islands are basically kept uh, un uninhabited because of. Uh, it's strategic uh, because uh, it's a strategic location. So, but, and and when any inhabitant or uh, you are giving any settlements, you need the basic uh, uh, basic infrastructure and basic needs you have to provide, which actually these islands cannot fulfill. That's why now the increasing of populations there in Andaman Nicobar it will become more challenging because the carrying capacity and the supply of resources, the natural resources to the people. For uh, for their needs, and it will be very very difficult. One hand, and the second hand, second side is that it seems islands are very very isolated, and then uh, which is not connected with each other because of uh, that only it is not uh, inhabited still. So, uh, but uh, certain kind of uh, the, most of the islands are are actually monitored by the forest department and the uh, military and. All these islands are used by by the security forces in terms of keeping all sort of vigilance over them. So it is it is because of it's a, uh, the islands uh, small size and uh, isolations and the, the remoteness. That's why it is not uh, inhabited by the people. So uh, and surveys are going on so that they can they can develop certain tourism. Uh, in in those islands, so that you know again it can be uh, it can monitor very again you know very closely if any activities from or any interventions from any other uh, foreign countries. So that is the reason why it is still you know not in. Any other questions? Uh, sir, Parvati Krishna, many days in the past, what has been the most important thing for you? Yes, uh, for uh, for for female education, basically, you know that okay, we have uh, the Andaman administration is having very unique uh, scholarship system for the uh, for the female. And apart from all this, I will tell you that uh, the parents basically there since uh, the, all the all the all the islands and all the people are connected with each other. And you know, initially, uh, previously, now only the population has increased, but. Uh, Previously, the, because of its very less populations, everybody used to know about each other. But now, it seems population increase, and then female. Actually, the government of Andaman Nicobar uh, administration is giving a special scholarship for the uh, for the female and free education for them up to 12. It is it is basically free education, and they have uh, some other facilities, you know, uh, which actually attract uh, the females and the parents basically. Uh, because of this Gram Sabha and Panchayat Raj system, and it is functioning very, very, very nicely. So, if any dropout uh, is there, if, if any female uh, student is dropped out from the school, it is now uh, the Panchayat has given the directions to the schools that the schools should depute some teachers, they should go and try to find out what is the problem. Because you see, in Andaman, basically all the government schools are free education. So, there is no as such. Fees and all these things, like a very minimum something uh, you have to pay, but a scholarship also there for all the female students. If any dropout, that's why my own brother is in, he's, he's also a school teacher, my 
uh, own mama is a school teacher, my uh, uncles and many others. So I get to know from them that they say that okay, today we have to visit in this uh, this area and we have to find out if there is any left out. And then apart from all this, you know, those who are actually migrating from uh, mainland India and uh, uh, they are uh, they went for earning and all. For them also, you see that uh, there is a provision. You know, they will go for survey and vigilance or that that nobody should left. Uh, behind the, that they should not uh, they are not getting education so female education uh, and and because of its vigilance so female education is very much high over there and not only female if any dropout uh, is there from the school uh, during this pandemic period also what happened is so some people were uh, not at all because of this uh, uh, lack of internet facilities and other things they were not able to connect with each other so but uh, teachers and other self-help group from the panchayat, they used to address, you know, they used to go and see how, you know, what are, what are the problems. So, um, so that's a, a female education, not only female education, it's own, uh, any education, any dropout is that they try to find out what is the reason and they provide uh, the solution. That is a very unique thing again, because it's, it, it is possible because of its, the population is very, very less and the very structural system. Uh, a system has been developed over there. So it's, it starts from the sub-center of the hospital sub-center. So there, when a, uh, a, a, a mother is pregnant, right from there itself, is monitoring process starts. And if the after what, uh, when you have to send your kid to the schools and all these things, like these people, and then certain uh, self-help group, certain NGOs, panchayat, and certain uh, uh, female women groups are there in the every village they are actually looking after all these things so and then after that you see this is one side and in the college admissions and other education institutions in, in andaman female actually female students are higher than boys students uh, because again you see that uh, the pattern the populations of of the this uh, this islands are it is basically a ratio is one is to one. It's it is very little uh, lower side maybe, but it is basically one is to one, one female and male. So everybody is getting equal opportunity there in this island. That's why education is uh, dropout is very very less and females. Not only that, from today from Andaman Nicobar Islands, okay, you will find the people in different places they are working. The basically females and males are also. But I'm talking about since question is the female education so and the andaman nicobar islands uh, the, uh, the administration they provide a special scholarship uh, for for its students when we are coming out of the coming to mainland for for his higher education those courses are not there in andaman they get a special scholarship for pursuing their course in mainland any other any any, any institutions in india that's why the female education is very very high over there and dropout is there means there is a structure, there is a system to address the thing and to get to know what is happening over there. So that's why, you know, in the, in the school, they're keeping very, very, uh, very much vigilance so that there should not be any kind of drop. Any other question? Uh, sir, Rajiniti te onsho grahane khetre mohila dir bhumika kato kani guru tapu na Yes, these are very good questions. You know, so you see, in panchayat raj system in Andaman, actually the one third of reservations are there for for female. You know that panchayat the pradhan, you know, alternative year every twenty five years, uh, this five years may be male and then other five years may be uh, may be female. So, and since the population is very, very less in Panchayat Raj system, you can address and reaching to each and every individual. That's why you see members. For this time, I can give an example of my my village or my island. Now, uh, seven uh, wards are there. Out of seven, there are five female candidates are there. Uh, five, five female members are uh, elected from that. And, and then now the promo is a female. Jela Parishad is female. So the political participation of female candidate in Andaman Nicobar, it is very, very high. Because again, because of its political culture. So, and then 
uh, whatever decisions are taking place uh, in in uh, in the village in it taking actually decisions drive when they take actually after the gram sabha meeting and the gram sabha meeting i was so happy to see when i went uh, went home and there was a gram sabha uh, gram sabha meeting and one of my batchmate actually he was the pr pradhan of that of the village and then he called me and when i went there i found a very minimum few males participations are there in the meeting rather you know female was very very high because you see so these females are well aware about about what actually their requirement so that's why you know they participate uh, in the meetings and they uh, if any issues related to the village or any any other households and all these females actually basically they are going and attending this i saw that uh, the meetings attendance females attendance is very very high and in election and during election time also you know that the campaigning you know, the females also equally they participate with the male counterpart so the political participation of female is at par with the male male counterpart so uh, so and then uh, every alternative five years the male female candidates uh, uh, for pradhan for jila parishad for pramukh and for whatever uh, that members so that's why the political awareness as well as political participation is at par uh, the, the counterpart of male any other question गुड थ Uh, but in Andaman Nicobar, so uh, last uh, one year before, or one and half an hour, uh, year before only, the internet, you know, fiber cable been connected from Chennai to uh, Andaman, and now uh, the internet connection is reaching to each and every corner of Andaman Nicobar Island. So during this pandemic, uh, pandemic, uh, uh, pandemic time, so obviously students were suffering, but uh, from the schools they were, you know, uh, the teachers. Uh, they were visiting, uh, and and uh, uh, the parents. I saw that time the role of the parents and role of because most of the people they stuck in their home itself. So the uh, the parents' role became more uh, important during that you know pandemic period. But education system, it's actually one hand, it's actually was affected, but on the other hand, uh, students they started. you know understanding the uses of uh, uses of this uh, in internet and then how they can get to know and then government uh, that andaman administration actually they started the program through uh, through radio through durdashans still it is continuing that uh, the teaching through durdashans and that channel durdashan is available in every household now so physics chemistry or any other any other subject they were teaching through this durdashan and the local students then teachers a uh, teachers actually they assign the work of you know they, they should monitor also that the student should uh, uh, should study and then when pandemic little relax and then uh, weekly once the student used to come to the come to the school and uh, get whatever and then 9th and 10th 9th and 10th and then 12th students they used to come to the school regularly so that they can write the exam for board exam so that as such okay, there was a huge impact on the education system but because because of this pandemic okay, many other you know uh, doors open for for learning uh, learning like you know online learning then through uh, doordarshan through uh, radio and then uh, through different other means then connecting and now the government is connecting the administration is connecting Uh, all the islands all the villages with internet which is actually uh, and is increasing uh, its, uh, learning potential of the students so uh, but uh, it, it obviously it's impacted very very huge there also as uh, like you know how in india but now condition is better as compared to this mainland india
because of the island's isolations, you know. Uh, so the spread of this COVID was very, very less in the different uh, different islands. It was it was in the main food layer regions, and other parts of uh, of the islands was very, very minimum. So that was another uh, another reason why you know students were not so panicked. But now it's uh, everything is very, very normal. Any other thing? Thank you, sir. दीपपुंजर ऊपर सर के आरो धन्यवाद आज के आलोचना शेष कर सकते भलो थकबंध थैंक यू वेरी मच